Thank God. How do you do it? Thank God. Dot, dot, dot. How do you do it? Tap inspired by Despierta Americano and Nati Natasha. So, yeah, I like to uh, smoke meth in the morning, smoke crack, and by that I mean smoking crack while having breakfast. I like turning on the stupid box uh, just for breakfast. And uh, get a kick out of um, Despierta America. And uh, I always find it funny, not just with any, with Nati Natasha, but any celebrity, anyone in Hollywood, any multimillionaire. Reminder, I'm no fucking communist. I'm a capitalist. But. You know, I know that I've lost sales. Got them th death threats. Even have some haters from my political points of view. Because I don't keep them away from my work. Because I think a bad idea is simply a bad idea. And should not be tolerated. If anything should be pointed out and dismantled. You know, but there are people that will say, no, you see, you don't understand. Um, you don't have a wife and kids. You don't have to um, be down so careful what you say. And I thought, you know, you know where we're at right now? Where to the point that um, if I want to grab my Starbucks latte or grab some lunch, I don't think oh, that I forget my wallet. Uh, and I think, oh man, did I get my mask? Can I walk in there or else we're all going to die? And, um, you know, we're vaccinating kids where, yeah, so what, man, if kids are dying, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's life. Kids are getting, all of a sudden, there's kids getting heart attacks for some strange reason. Coincidentally, it happens right after they get their, their second COVID shot. But, yeah, I bring that up with, um, how do you thank God because how can you just play it off that? Um, oh, the world's gonna be fine. What you want for lunch? Want some lemonade? Want pink lemonade? Want a lemon up? Lemon up is uh, half uh, lemonade, half seven up. You can get that at a uh, fine dining establishment here called the In and Out Burger. And, um, But you know, you know how I thank God. Someone close to me, um, you know, recently, last month, last couple months, I told two people that I'm not much of a praying person. But when I do pray, usually I pray for. I don't pray for. Oh, I want, I want more money. I want to find true love. I need to make all the seals. I want to be world famous. I don't pray for that. At times when I have um, nightmares or something spooky happen, like when I had COVID, I prayed when I thought I saw um, an entity come from my dreams and appear in the corner of my, of my bedroom, just darkness. I prayed that uh, 
its pain would be healed. Whatever is causing it to hate, be evil, may it be healed. Am I going to say, devil be gone? No, because what are you going to do, kill me? Oh my goodness. Um, hell? You know, when, when I had a, when I bought lunch for, for a, a man who eats out of the garbage can, when I go out of my way to chase a, a homeless man down that looks like he's wearing mechanic gear, mechanic, a mechanic outfit with so much dirt on him that he just looks up, you know, nat nappy on his clothes, just give him recyclables. Even though I never met the motherfucker. And I'm busy doing other shit. I think I did that. And you know, I want to, I want to go to heaven. I just think, you know, that dude's having a hard time, man. Look at me right now. I can go, um, get a latte if I want. If I have my mask, though. If I gotta have it, gotta have it. And, uh, some reason I uh, uh, saw a video that said uh, best places to retire in 2021. And they showed these fucking two fucking idiots uh, just taking selfies in poor parts of Mexico, the Philippines, uh, Colombia, and other places. And they look at me, I'm just here taking selfies, look at this uh, volcano pitch, look at this spa, all $20. And I think, you do realize that it's $20 because people are so fucking poor there, right? So fucking poor. And what you what you do when you show up there is, uh, oh my goodness, I need to take more selfies, I need to take it easy. And I think, you know, they're... There are people that literally, I, I don't doubt, I don't doubt, and may a, a meteor hit me in the head, because there's no rain clouds in sight, may a meteor hit me in the head right now, if there isn't a man right now, somewhere on earth, that I probably could help out, meet him, do business with him, um, work with him. Support his company or his local business or his uh, local economy so that their family could eat. And it'd probably be a $20, $30, $40 investment so I could go and export and just do shit. And that's who I need to go find. I'm, I'm, I, I guess you could say I'm busy. I guess you could. But to me, busy is. Uh, you know who's busy? Elon, Elon Musk. <clears throat> you know that that guy plans his uh, day by minute, right? It doesn't say, well, breakfast at 7-ish. Um, take my time and oh, then I'm check the newspaper, take some selfies. Oh, maybe I'll go to work at 10. Um... Yeah, I go to work, take lunch at 4 or 5 p.m. One hour and go to work and head home and that's it. No, he's minute by minute. It's in high demand. And, and we'll hit on people like that. Elon Musk, I don't know how to feel about him now. I do think now that he's, he's smart and he knows how to... I believe he knows that we're, we're too stupid to handle money. And it's up to him to get it, as much of it and invest it and reinvest it and, and uh, make shit happen. He almost top all right, shit. Almost thought, I thought he was going to top all the market last Monday. And he would sell 10% of his Tesla stock. And I was like, fuck. While well, his brother's selling $200 million worth, worth of Tesla stock. Um spoke about uh, world hunger, pedophilia, um, and in poor countries, and 
you know, shit that shouldn't concern him. Shit that, uh, you know, he should have just, uh, not care about after he sold PayPal. And it's funny because, like, you know, when I think of Michael Saylor, the first time I think Michael Saylor, you know, when his business had $500 million in cash and he's like, you know, that's, I'm good. I got money. I, I don't have to starve. I'm not going to starve. I can retire right now and just fuck around. And he doesn't do that. So he's like, well, got investors, so how can I keep uh, the money healthy and, and um, goes out to Bitcoin, figures it out. Things of Bitcoin, it's a gold filters, other valuables, other assets, but he finally says no Bitcoin. And um, speaks of the future. But I think a lot of people would just say, well, look, I went to. A poor neighborhood, and I uh, took some selfies there. That that ought to boost the economy by dozens of dollars. But I have my bodyguards and my security there, because you know there's a lot of colored people over there. Mm-hmm. Damn poor people. I don't know shit about her, but just generally speaking, just thinking of. Uh, And I work in in rough areas, done business in poor areas. I done business. I one of the most gangster parts I've done business at was um, I think Oakland, California. Doing business with uh, some new people. I was like, well, where's, where's this at? Where's the address at? And I get there and I was like, all right, this my GPS says here. All right, then I, then I see, uh, I don't know if I saw the co undercover cops first, arresting someone, or if I saw the lookout at the bus stop first. But then I see uh, people ch selling rocks at the corner. And I thought, hmm, this is broad daylight. This is how it is. Fuck that. I don't want to be here during um, nighttime. I'm thinking too short here. The rapper. But, um. Yeah, and then eventually I find uh, there's some to go to. And I think, oh, let's see. Prostitutes. Well, then it's a prostitutes a long way over there. Probably one of the badass um, black bitches. Probably 19, 20 years old. Bad, bad, bad. Fine as fuck. I had some more time on my schedule. I'd uh, talk with her, hang out with her. If you know what I mean. Mm hmm. Anyways, well, yeah, when I saw it, I was thinking, damn. Anyways. Um. Go to a place of business and I'm thinking, fuck, there's a lot of fucking gangsters out there. And I thought, straight up, hoodlums are criminals. That's racist. And I'm thinking, uh, well, let me, um, again, I just saw the cops and the cover cops arresting somebody, people selling crack, prostitutes. And I'm like, hmm, let me double, let me d park in the red here and go take care of business and get the fuck out of there. And uh, I did that. <clears throat> and uh, and to me, I'm thinking, you know, this is a, a global thing that I'm doing here. I'm going, I'm going town by town. I didn't just say, well, I'm going to the white areas first, middle class only. And I'm like, nope, everywhere, just about everywhere. Everywhere that um, I could find on the Google Maps. And 
And yeah, I did business there. And also when I did business, I thought, oh, fuck, I just closed the door, came right behind me. Like, well, I forgot to plan my flight. Well, maybe I'll bite at least one of these motherfuckers' nose off. But that didn't happen. And uh, it was profitable. Yeah, in a bad neighborhood, man, by myself. Going to other places based just with my GPS in the land of bandits and venomous snakes. 127 degrees, the unknown, no contacts. Yeah, it didn't happen. But I did this because I also believe. Man, there's just so much to do, man. Um, I mean, I've been taught, I've been taught so many lies. Like, oh, well, you're not white. That's for white people. That's for middle class. You need to have a college degree. Um, what else? A college degree. You're not well famous. You don't have an actual, actual business brick and mortar store. Who are you? Who's recognized you? Who's um, certified you? I remember someone who had more credentials than me. I know someone, <clears throat> not someone who had more credentials than me, and I know this is somebody else who had way more education on paper and way more bills, way more money spent on education. And I've outperformed them by fucking light years, man. But, um,. And to me, it's not about outperforming them, but it's about attempting to see how can I out outperform my actual self. But I point that out because there's people that all set limits on themselves, man. And, and how much is it to do? Who to help out, man? You know, if uh, things work out in business, um, if in the year strong, then I could go and team up with um, um, with another business and um, someone who's helped me out in the past. I haven't seen in a while, and I'm still gonna be I'll probably be more aggressive. I'll probably be a bit more relaxed because. This person knows me from uh, my past. When I had accomplished far less, far less. Yeah, I'll ask you and if any of the celebrities that you worship, you know, do they really think out or is it just a, a thing for the interview? The cameras are watching, so I'm going to smile with a fake smile and just say, thank God. Because uh, no doubt that just, just about the majority of the days that I wake up, I'm not thankful for life. I think that I, I could breathe, I could walk. And chew bubble gum, or should we just walk, man? Other people who are paralyzed, people who, who, who have to get up at 4 30 a.m. to go walk three miles, go to the well to get water to walk, come back on my head, and not drop them. I don't have to do that.
so much DNA. But yeah, I need to be more um, more effective, more profitable. Then I'll be able to do more. There's some people that I have uh, conflicts with because they're like, shit, man, well, look, you made money, man. We should, we should go party, man. We should go fucking hang out. We should just fucking spend it. You do realize that um, I'm literally flipping, almost literally flipping my 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 future on a coin toss and I invest or do something new so. but yeah how do you think that how do you appreciate your fucking life, your fucking free, your electricity, your cell phone, your options, your choices, breathing, your clothes, your fucking shoes, your ability to own high tops, low tops. Do you fucking say it? Do you actually fucking mean it by doing something? And when I say that, I'm talking to myself and to you. And I just get it done. Trump 2024. No, just go forward. And remember, there are no easy days. Only days where potential is not fulfilled. And when the going gets tough, let's go, Brandon.